Hey guys, uh, this is my first uh, video for Let the Beat Go On in uh, English instead of Dutch. So excuse me if it's not really uh, smooth, but um, the, the content is uh, more important. Uh, I'm here at the uh, VU Medical uh, University. Next to me is Bianca Brundel. Uh, she's a well-known, uh, really famous Dutch uh, scientist. Uh, Bianca, who are you and what are you doing? And why are you here in VU? Um, I'm a molecular biologist. Um, I'm already studying for over 20 years the disease atrial fibrillation. I'm trying to dissect the molecular mechanisms which contribute to AF progression. And we are testing uh, new drugs. And hopefully these drugs uh, may have a protective effect later on in patients. Okay, so you're really talking about uh, a new treatment for AF. Um, this is making me so curious because as a patient, I have all the, I had all the medication, uh, all the treatment like ablation and operations. So can you tell us more about this new medication? Is it already uh, available on the market or in what phase is it? What, what trial? Um, in our research we are trying to um, improve the structure of the cardiomyocyte and uh, we use several drugs of which GGA and 4PBA uh, showed uh, protective effects also in animal models for atrial fibrillation. And we use also these guys, these are um, drosophilas, which are the fruit flies. And we tested these, the compounds also in, in drosophila, and we got uh, very good results. And um, some of these drugs are already uh, in clinical phase four for completely different indications. But we found in Drosophila and in animal models that also uh, the drugs can protect against atrial fibrillation. So, um, you, uh, you, I, I suppose so many people are suffering from this uh, disease. Or I think um, it's so important that this comes to trial in, in humans, in patients. Uh, what can we do? What can the patients do to contribute? to be uh, an active player in mm -hmm. this. Yeah, as a researcher, uh, I, uh, I recently got uh, get more and more emails also from patients because patients are really in a need for new treatment options. And therefore, uh, together with uh, Dr. Natasha de Groot from the Erasmus University, uh, we set up, we founded an atrial fibrillation innovation platform. And we want to use this flat platform for uh, patients and researchers so they can communicate much better with each other and also patients can help to co-create clinical studies. So you can hear it. Um, I think this is really important that we um, as patients we don't uh, are, are static you know we, we can be active and we can help these researchers. Um, I will upload the, the website of Bianca, so uh, also maybe with her email address or that you can uh, come in contact with her. Um, yeah, last but not least, what can you give us all for a message? What's important for you? As a researcher, it's, it's really a, a, the main aim is to contribute to the well-being of patients patients with atrial fibrillation in particular, um, I would say um, go to the website atrial fibrillation innovation platform, uh, sign in and uh, also patients can contribute to future clinical studies if it is up to us. Well, you hear that. What a wonderful woman. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bianca. Mm -hmm. You're and welcome. Bye bye.